Hello, everyone. Welcome back to To Be Your Own Hero. My name is Mark Kageyama, and I'm a stage four cancer patient with prostate, bone, and lung cancer. And I'm also surviving and thriving. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel as well as giving a thumbs up. And please make a comment in the comments section of the video. At this time, I'd like to thank Alexandra McCarthy for sharing her protocol and products with me which I'm really excited about. In fact, she'll be a guest on this channel in the near future. Also, Katie Gaspari and I will resume our Conquering Cancer series at Clubhouse at our new time of 9 o'clock a.m. Pacific Standard Time, uh, 12, 12 o'clock p.m. Eastern Standard Time, instead of our previous time of 10 o'clock a.m. Again, 9 o'clock a.m. Pacific Standard Time is a brand new time. Our presentation will be on turning fear into faith. Please be sure to join us. And I'm also wearing my uh, Lakers shirt because it's almost uh, basketball season. So anyway, if you're wondering uh, why the new shirt. Uh, the subject today is gratitude. The quality of being thankful is the definition of gratitude. Also, readiness to show appreciation for and to return kindness. It's interesting that the word gratitude contains two words put together, great and attitude. You only live once, or uh, Y-O-L-O, -L YOLO, as many millennials say it. Indeed, Life is short, so we need to make the most out of every minute and appreciate that minute as well. It's about the journey and not the destination. Nobody can afford to waste time because once time passes, nobody can get that back. Along the way, we all have something, such, such as a pet, someone, or some people to be grateful for. What are you grateful for? First and foremost, I am truly grateful to be able to experience each new day. I thank God for allowing me to open my eyes every single morning. I'm so thankful for getting stronger every day, albeit very slowly, but making progress is an incredible thing. Life is so precious. Life should be appreciated on a daily basis because it is fantastic. Your life is so important and it's necessary to make the most, absolute most of it. I'm grateful for having had uh, wonderful, dedicated parents. Unfortunately, my father passed away on April 1st of this year, but he's not forgotten. My mother is still alive and doing very well. My parents devoted their lives to raising six of us, four boys and two girls. Both my parents worked very hard. My father ran the family business and my mother ran the household. They always made sure that we always had the necessities that we needed and beyond, including a great education. I attribute my love of sports to my dad. My mom always made sure that we had great food on the table and a clean house amongst everything that she has done for us and still continues to do. We've always been able to count on them. Thank you, Mom. By the way, she watches all of my videos. We have indeed been truly blessed. For those of you watching with parents and grandparents that are still alive, be sure to appreciate them while they're still here. Even though it may seem like some people will live forever, we all know that that is never the case. Everybody is born and everybody will die. Once a person has passed, you will never have that opportunity to say what you want to say. I've heard countless times where people have told me, I wish that I would have told them how much they meant to me. Or I wish that I would have gone over to visit that one last time. So why not tell them today? 
to the people that you love instead of waiting? Why not pick up the phone and make a call? Or better yet, if the opportunity is there, why not go visit them in person? Never assume anything. Nobody is guaranteed a tomorrow or even a full day today. Especially when a person gets older, you never know what can happen. In the case of my dad, he got Alzheimer's and was never the same. People can get strokes, heart attacks, cancer, or even be in a car accident. You just never know. Take advantage of today and the now and make sure you let the loved ones that are close to you know that they are appreciated and that they are loved. You have to say it. Don't wait. I'm grateful for my wife, Beth, as well as my two incredible daughters, Lisa and Tani. Because of my cancer, Beth had to immediately step up to the plate and work even harder than she normally does. While working a full-time job as a dental hygienist, she prepared my food every morning for that day before she went to work. She was up at 4 o'clock in the morning in order to do that. She also had to do most of my chores that I normally had done because I was so weak and immobile at that particular time. I've gone back to doing all of my chores, including the wash, vacuuming the house, cleaning and maintaining the yard, and so on. It was important for me to do those things as soon as I could so I could lift that burden from my wife. I'm also blessed with the two greatest daughters that a person can have in Lisa and Tani. Lisa and her fiancé John have been traveling the country for the past couple of years. She rushed by RV from New York to come and stay with me and help me for two and a half months this past summer. That was an amazing experience and Lisa really helped point me in the right direction to get better. Tani lives with her husband Matt in Abilene, Texas and has been out here a couple of times this summer. We talk nearly every day. I have so many people to be grateful for, including my sister Julie, friends such as Paul Liang, Ken Oda, Julia Thomas, the Crammers, Jerry Gibbs, Tim Brooks, Mr. Spicoli, Lynette Larson, my cousin Bonnie Oda, my neighbor Hector Arias, as well as many LinkedIn connections, especially Katie Gaspari, Brad Reed, Wayne Robinson, David Hansen, Ala Kananda, Dr. Manzi Shah, Mark Moskowitz, Jill Bouvier, Leonardo Askak, uh, Shiwe Kotas, Ebenezer Prabha, Adabola, Nargiza, Dr. MJ, C.A. Shivani Gupta, and many others. I'm always very positive. However, this subject has me deeply concerned, this one which I'm going to speak about. At this time, I would like to bring up the subject which has been very troubling to me and many others. I'm not grateful at all for our current uh, administration in the White House led by President Biden. So many people are being hurt by this administration's reckless and truly harmful policies and handling of our country. People by the thousands or maybe even millions are losing their jobs uh, or have lost their jobs due to this vaccine mandate. Biden's approval rating is down to 36 percent. But my question is, is how in the world can anyone think he is doing a good job? He has mishandled everything. And at this point, we can only hope we can hold on until we can have a change and appoint a real president. Thank you so much for joining me at To Be Your Own Hero. And please subscribe to the channel. Be sure to take advantage of every day, every hour, every minute, and every second of every day. Be thankful for your life, your health, and appreciate your family and the good friends and people around you. Be grateful and know that things can change at any second. So let people know how you feel about them. Thank you so much, and we'll see you next time.